KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Monday, May 4th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather still unseasonably warm for the next couple of days, but cooler air invades the state late this weekend over the weekend, and probably not much rain. Here we go, upper air look across the country. Got a zonal flow, and there is a weak surface boundary just north of the state that helped to focus pretty nasty MCS, muscle scale convective system, uh, yesterday through parts of Tennessee that clipped extreme North Alabama with strong winds. We are in the 50s and 60s to start the day. Look at Aniana, 53, Birmingham, 68, but everybody goes up in the middle 80s today, about five degrees above average. There's the watch warning map, a very quiet May morning, but later today, big storms will likely flare through the eastern half of Oklahoma and some of the adjacent states. And we note that there is a very low-end marginal risk of severe storms clipping the uh, northern part of Alabama. And uh, again, I think what's going to happen today is not one of these organized bow echoes, but more isolated storms that pop. And isolated is the key word. A lot of places up there won't see a drop of rain today. But where it does rain, if a storm can get going, it could produce strong gusty winds. Tomorrow, a marginal risk just north and east of here. And day three, cool air covers much of the country and no severe weather expected. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heavier totals a bit north of here. For Alabama, one half to one inch for the north, under a quarter inch for the south. Hardly anything at all for the Gulf Coast. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06 C run, 4 o'clock today, troughing over the northeast, a zonal flow here. And again, a weak surface boundary to the north, and that could trigger a few isolated showers. Now, this is the high-res NAM showing just nothing but very small showers. But if a storm can get going, it might produce gusty winds, but for most of the state today, just warm and dry. Uh, this is the instability today, and again, the numbers are pretty high, but there's no dynamic forcing for rain, uh, kind of like in the summer. Every day we're in the 90s, and those Cape values are awfully high, but we only have the pop-up afternoon storms. This is tomorrow. Got a surface low that's over eastern Kentucky with a trailing front, and that will likely bring a band of showers in here late tomorrow and tomorrow night. This is tomorrow night just after midnight. And again, limited moisture, not much dynamic forcing. Rain amounts light and spotty. And then Wednesday, look at the trough over the eastern half of the country. We're in a cooler air mass, the high dropping into the low 70s. That's a good 8 degrees below average. Pretty good north breeze. The sky will be sunny. Thursday will be in the 40s to start the day. The high will be in the low 70s. And this is Friday, another front coming down the pike, and that will bring the chance of some light rain. Uh, highs close to 70, mostly cloudy. And again, no severe weather. Rain amounts not that great. And then Saturday, even cooler air drops in. Highs dropping into the upper 60s and lows in the 40s. This is Sunday. We're dry, 40s during the morning. We might even see some upper 30s for the cooler pockets. And this is May 10th. Understand, that's pretty late in the season for numbers like that. High Sunday should be in the middle 70s. And a week from today, Monday the 11th, troughing over the east. And again, should be a beautiful day. Let's go out 10 days. This is Wednesday of next week, May 13th, troughing to the north. And again, that looks pretty quiet. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean between 1 and 2 inches. For the next 15 days, really not that much. And yeah, after 87 today, you can see highs dropping off steadily, reaching the upper 60s on Saturday, then back in the 70s for a pretty good part of next week. But today will most likely be the warmest day out of the next 7 to 10 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.